great guys, welcome back. Just wanted to show you my um, new jewel thief. It's uh, my, my new super thief. Um, pretty much the same setup as before, so we've got a more hardcore toroid coil going here. Um, we're using some power transistors. Now I've got my little uh, voltage regulator here, and I can dial that up just um, by moving the jumpers from 3, 5, 6, 9, 12 and 15 volts. Um, so we're just running that from a uh, 12 volt battery. So it allows me to test this circuit um, you know, with different voltages and whatnot. Um, I'm just going to fire it up. Okay, so you can hear it resonating in the coil. And heat up a little bit. No, we're pulling in almost an amp. But what's interesting, oh, by the way, it's uh, set at 6 volts. What's interesting is between the emitter and the collector of the power transistor, this is a 2N3055, we can get a, one of those 90 volt neons to light. Um, okay, so I just wanted to show you something interesting. Now, this pot here is a 1K pot potentiometer running through a power resistor which is uh, I think 220 ohms um, so this just allows me to vary the frequency vary the, the current draw on this um, thing on the front end and vary the voltage output coming coming across these two here okay so at the moment I've got it set to one of the highest highest resistance and you'll see it'll, it'll be drawing one point a bit over an amp um, and the frequency goes lower as we apply more resistance okay so now I'm just measuring the voltage across across the emitter and collector and you'll notice it's sitting at minus 290 volts okay pulling 1.1 amps. Okay, so I'm going to apply less resistance. Okay, so the amp draw should go down. Frequency should go up. And strangely enough, the voltage goes down. But it gets to a point where it starts going into the positive figures and we're consuming less and less okay this is set on the thousand volt high voltage um, setting and it's just going too far, I don't want to blow this one up, I've blown up about twi uh, 10 multimeters in the last month so I don't really want to push it to its limit but I mean this goes all the way back around to there and so the highest I can get it without blowing up my multimeter. See, see, it doesn't like that. It's, as soon as it gets to 400, the, the, the pulses just send this thing crazy. So I'm, I don't want to run it any higher because it'll, it'll probably blow up. Um, and the neon changes color, obviously, with the frequency. But yeah, what I find really interesting is um, the fact that it's negative at a higher resistance. And then turns positive. I really don't understand that. But I guess with a bridge rectifier we could catch all this and dump it into a cap. As I said, this, this can go much higher than this. Um, so what I'll do is, I'll just disconnect this lead, so we don't blow it up, and I'll show you that, I hope you can hear the frequency change. So I'm applying less resistance at this point, so I can get it to under half an amp lighting this, this neon. Then I have set it up in charging mode, it will charge battery. Um, we've got to do more tests on that. 
So anyway, that's my Super Thief circuit. Um, and yeah, I'm just about to box it up. Uh, it should be really, really cool. Uh, yeah. Showing you once again on the highest resistance. Again, pulling 1.2 amps. Um, now this thing's, you can't really see it, but that's good glowing a nice purpley blue. Okay. So, you would expect it, so as we're winding this up, like I showed before, this thing gets to a point of pretty much zero. Okay, pretty much at zero. And yet this thing's still lighting. So I don't know if it's tricking the multimeter or what it's doing, but... Got it running on three volts now. Uh, and as you can see, same even on three volts, it's pulling a bit, but um, we can still we can still produce this high volt. Set on nine volts, pulling a lot of current, um, and yeah, we're getting loads of voltage out. I really don't want to push this thing because it's going to blow up on me. But yeah, it's all working. It's a great little circuit. If you've ever ever built a Bedini or interested in all that sort of stuff, Emo Tape Ready and Oscillator, give this one a go. See ya. Yeah, so this is a circuit that I'm going to uh, put onto a board, hopefully this afternoon.